Sarah with itsyourgrade.com. In this video, we're going to talk about unit conversions. In chemistry and physics, units become your best friends. So we're going to do an example. We're going to convert two miles into centimeters. First, you need to figure out what you know. There are conversions in the back of your textbook or sometimes they're located in the front of your textbook for quantities such as mass, volume, and length. We know that one mile has 5,280 feet. We also know that one foot has 12 inches. We know that one inch has 2.54 centimeters. So we need to set up a unit conversion. A unit conversion, we start with two miles. And what you need to know is that what's on top must go on bottom so it cancels out. So here, this is on top. Miles will need to go on bottom to cancel out. We know that we have one mile equals 5,280 feet. So one mile, and on top, we will have 5,280 feet. Now, the feet is on top, so we need to have feet on bottom to cancel out. So one foot will go on bottom and 12 inches will go on top. Inches is now on top, so inches needs to go on bottom in the next conversion factor. One inch is 2.54 centimeters. So if you look here, this mile will cancel with this mile, the feet will cancel, the inches will cancel, and we're left with centimeters, which is what we wanted to do. So if we plug this into the calculator, 2 times 5,280 times 12 times 2.54 and we get 321868.8 centimeters. Now we have a problem here because we need to take significant figures into account. Significant figures I've talked about in a previous video. Here this has just one significant figure. These conversion factors are exact values, so they have infinite number of significant figures. So we have one significant figure is the least, so one here. Well, this is a problem because this is a really large number, so we need to convert it to scientific notation. And if you convert this to scientific notation, you get 3 times 10 to the 5 centimeters. And this is now your answer. So what we did was we converted miles into feet, we then converted feet into inches, and then inches into centimeters using conversion factors. So that's normal unit conversion factors. But what happens if your units are cubed or square? Well, basically we're going to do the same thing, except that the unit conversion factors are now raised to a uh, power. Let's take um, the area of a circle, for example. We have 874 centimeters squared. This is the area of a circle. Well, what do we know? We know that there's 100 centimeters in one meter. So if we raise this to a power to make it squared, 100 centimeters squared is equal to one meter squared. To set up our unit conversion, we take 874 centimeters squared. The centimeter squared needs to go on the bottom now, so we put 100 centimeters squared. And then on top, we're going to have 1 meter squared. And this will give us the answer. We punch it in the calculator, 874 divided by 100 squared. That gives us 0 0.0874. Again, oh, sorry, this is meters squared now because the centimeter squared cancels here and it cancels here. So now we again need to check for significant figures. One, two, three significant figures here. One, two, three significant figures in our answer because this is an exact value here, so it's infinite number of safe things. You can leave your answer like this, or for those professors who like scientific notation, this would be one, two, 
this would be 8.74 times 10 to the negative 2 meters squared. And that's all there is for a unit conversion.